Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, YouTube? My cigar smoking family. How y'all doing this evening, man? It's Cowboy coming at you. I'm down here in the lab, man. About to fire up me a smoke. Figure I'd come on and share it with y'all. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this thing, man. Tell y'all what I pulled out the old humidor, man. I'm going to take y'all back with me a little bit. Uh, a cigar that I fell in love with, oh, 2012, maybe. Something like that. 2012, 2013. Uh, still able to get your hands on a few of these if you do your Googles, as my man Lee Max says. What I pulled out the old humidor is the CAO OSA. So, the lot 54, and this goes uh, 6 by 54, or it may be 5 and 3 quarter by 54. It's a Toro, goes for about $8 a stick. One of my favorite cigars by CAO, always has been, and I was able to get my hands on some more of these, man. Look at how beautiful that stick is, man. Look at the beautiful dark wrapper on that thing. The minimal seams that you see. Nice veins, slight toothiness. Nice, slick, oily wrapper, man. Just a beautiful looking cigar, man. Triple cap on that thing. I just love the color on this cigar, man. And uh, I was lucky enough, like I said, to get my hands on some more of these around Christmas. The oldest girl was able to find me some and got me some of these for Christmas to add to the few that I still had in the box. And this is, uh. Cigar comes out of Honduras from the uh, Alancho San Augustine Valley in Honduras. Very nice, man. Smell of leather and a little barnyard and coffee there on the wrapper. Some woodiness. Very nice cocoa and coffee note there on the foot. Just a beautiful stick, man. It's almost a shame to want to even cut it up. But that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cut him up. We're going to light him up. And we're going to smoke him up. Cowboy going to tell y'all what I think. Now, once again, this beautiful wrapper that you guys see. That is a, uh, a Habano sun-grown wrapper. Grown in the St. Augustine Valley down there in Honduras. This is from a 2008 crop. Uh, this cigar also has a Connecticut broadleaf binder and it has a uh, combination of Nicaraguan and uh, Honduran fillers. So, we're gonna get this thing cut, man. We're gonna get into it. We ain't gonna mess around. Hope everybody having a good day. I was about to come on a little while ago, man, and uh, I got a little ding there. My man Lee Mac was on live. I don't know the last time I known Lee Mac to go live. He say he don't normally go live. That ain't what he do, but oh, Lee Mac was working that live like old disc jockey, man. <laughs> yeah, Lee Mac 912, baby. On the cold drop. Coffee. Earthiness. Kind of rich there, sweet tobacco. Very nice, very nice chocolate there as well. All right, let's get him lit up, man. Let's see what's up with this thing. Like I say, I'm taking y'all back, man. This was the one CAO cigar that I fell in love with some years ago. Like I say, back in 2012, 2013. There's still a few of these out there. Do your Googles, man. See if y'all can locate it. I decided I was just gonna come on here and do a review here tonight, man. Show y'all what we working with. I know you get guys on here to tell you, man, why would you go and review a cigar that nobody can get their hands on? Well, it's my channel. It's my cigar, and if that's what I wanna review, that's what I'll review. But this one, I think you can still get your hands on if you, if you know where to look. Thank you. 
Yeah, this was a really, really nice cigar for me. Man, already on, on first light. A nice fruit sweetness there on the palate. A uh, nice little peppery note and floral there on the retro. I mean, just on first light, just the first couple of drags. And that thing took a beautiful light, man. I have no doubt that this is going to be a great smoke for me tonight. Already. Oh, beautiful sweetness there. Uh, almost like a chocolate, chocolate candy, sweet candy sweetness. That was kind of hard to describe. I'll get it in a minute. Got a nice earthiness there. Very aromatic. Nice rich tobacco core. Very sweet, man. Almost like a, almost tastes like a, a like fruit punch. All of a sudden, man. Beautiful draw on the thing, man. It took a very nice cut. Wow, beautiful looking cigar, man. That sweetness has got me. That's a really, really, really nice sweetness there on that. Nice little coffee tone there on the back. Like I said, a little bit of black pepper and Florida on the retro. And uh, what cow cowboy gonna drink tonight, man? I uh, I picked up some Yellowstone bourbon a few weeks back, man. Uh, I ran out of the bottle that I had some time ago, and I was in Total Wines, and they had a select barrel uh, for Total Wines. And this one here was barreled on 8-24 of 2020, aged at least four years. So that's what Cowboy's gonna get into, man. 93 proof. So Cowboy gonna have a little bit of bourbon with this favorite CAO cigar of mine. So I'll get through this and I'll be back with y'all, man. Y'all relax. Wow, family. This is a great cigar. I, I I am uh I'm gonna say that I mean what we're into the end of March. One of the best tasting cigar cigars that I picked up this year yet, man. This, this C A O O S A Soul is smoking hella good for Cowboy tonight, man. Out of the Olancha, San Augustine Valley in Honduras, man. It is said that that region is perfect for growing tobaccos. Perfect sun, perfect rain, uh, that volcanic soil. As you can see, that wrapper's beautiful, man. That's a good looking cigar, man. Nice burn on that thing, nice thick ash. Very, very flavorful, man. The cigar has a hell of an aroma to it. Nice billowing smoke. Got a really nice, deep, rich earthiness to it. Um, medium black pepper and floral on that retro, very nice. Picking up that chocolate covered, like fruit, chocolate covered cherries. A very nice honey sweetness to it. The coffee. It's got a nice sweet savoriness to it as well. Really nice leather note. The woodiness on that is like a, I'm gonna say that's a, even a sweet cedar woody note. Got a really nice, in my opinion, an underlying spice spicy finish and I'm gonna say that the cigar is smoking on the plus side of medium right now in strength medium plus in body and medium plus on the flavors 
very very tasty for me right now i'm hoping this thing holds out man like i say this was my favorite cigar by cao over 10 years ago or close to 10 years ago i should say and uh i'm still enjoying this thing man and i don't know what happened to real production on these i know that there are a few of them still out there but if you guys get an opportunity to go check that out i really love that band on that cigar as well man from down in the valley i think this has something to do with a little bit of omatepe as well that earthiness that i enjoy that good earthiness i'm getting it out of this cigar And I haven't even touched the bourbon yet. This happens to be one of those cigars that you uh, you just want to smoke it by itself. You don't want to have anything with it. Very, very nice. Let's see what's up with the bourbon. Cigar opinion is at work tonight, baby. My opinion on this cigar tonight, we doing well so far. Yellowstone bourbon. Let's see what's up with it. The honey, the honey. Got some cinnamon and vanilla here. Haven't gotten any cinnamon in the cigar just yet, but salute. A little brininess to the bourbon there as well, but not a bad barrel pick. But like I said, I can enjoy this cigar. I don't need nothing with it, man. So God boy gonna continue to smoke this thing down, man. I'll get down to the second portion of this, man. I'll get back with y'all and let y'all know where we at. Glad I came on to share it with y'all. Y'all relax. Well, 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 family. Here we are with the CAO OSA Soul Lot 54, the 6x54 Toro. In my opinion, this is one hell of a smoking cigar for me tonight, folks. As you can see, that burn's trying to get away from me. I'm hoping that I won't have to touch it up. I think I may have to touch it up just a little bit. But look at that dark, oily burn line on it, man. You know there's some great flavors coming off of this thing, man. This cigar, in my opinion, man, is, was fermented to perfection. I mean, I really enjoy that Cubanesque earthiness that you get from a cigar. And for those guys that are into the Cubans, you understand exactly what I'm talking about from a Cuban profile cigar. I love those cigars, man, where they go for that Cuban S profile. On the second portion of this cigar, I pick up that nice, sweet, creamy note. Almost like a, a sweet, creamy corn. Nice, cherry and chocolate, like a cherry cola. Almost. I mean, the cigar is mouth-watering, in my opinion. That retro now is a mild, I'm gonna say a black and white pepper mix, still with the nice florals, still very aromatic, a very cool smoking cigar as well. I mean, the flavors are nice. It still got that spicy finish on the back of the throat. Got a semi-sweet nuttiness to it nice leather note i mean the flavors the flavors just marry well in this cigar man i'm gonna say that the uh that cuban i'm gonna say no not cuban i'm sorry the connecticut broadleaf binder along with the honduran and nicaraguan fillers 
or a great compliment to that sun grown Habano rapper. Man, from the Alancho San Augustine Valley in Honduras. Great, great cigar. Looks like that burn is trying to straighten itself out. We're gonna see. Burn's not as straight as it was, but we're still doing good. So Cowboy gonna get down to the last part of this cigar, man. I'm gonna come back, get y'all my final thoughts and my final score. I think we're gonna do well tonight. It's a perfect pick for me. Old school. CAO. I'll be back. Wow, family. Here we are. Down to the last of it. The CAO OSA SOL. The 6x54 Toro. This is a hell of a smoking cigar for me, folks. This cigar really, really has me in just straight chill mode. I have surrendered to the cigar. Very relaxing, man. And that's exactly what a cigar is supposed to do, man. That's the mood that a cigar is supposed to put you in. This is a hell of a smoking cigar for me, folks. As you can see, that cigar is holding a pretty nice thick ash. As it did in the beginning, it had a pretty nice thick ash as well. Still got a pretty burn line to me, that dark, silky, slick burn line. Beautiful cigar, man. No problems with the construction on this cigar. Just a good looking oily cigar, man. Very flavorful. Very, very nice transitions in the cigar. I did know, notice that going into the last third, the cigar began to pick up a little bit of bitterness. Not bad. Uh, nice woody profile. The coffee, the chocolate. The chocolate covered fruit, like almost like a cherry. The cream. The rich earthiness. Deep earthiness. I'm truly, truly enjoying that. The leather. Nice aromatic. That retro is still a... A mild black and white pepper and floral on the retro. I mean, nice, man. I'm going to say that this cigar is going to finish. Medium to full in strength. Medium plus in body. Medium plus in flavors. I mean, just a great, great cigar. So Cowboy ain't going to mess around no more, man. I'm going to go ahead and score this thing. Wow. Very nice. I did have to touch it up a couple times. But other than that, the cigar has been great. So, as we score this cigar on Cowboy Scale of 1 to 10, we give the construction a 10. I gave the burn a 8.5. I gave the flavors uh, a 9. Gave the body a 9 as well. And for complexity and transition, we give it an eight. So that gives the CAO, OSA, SOL, SOL, an overall score of an 8.9 on Cowboy scale of one to 10. And on my scale of one to 10, that makes this an excellent cigar. So I challenge you people, if you can go out and find this, there are some of them out there. Uh, as my man Lee Mike says, do your Googles, man. I must find me some more. I still got quite a few in the box, but I'm going to have to get my hands on some more, man. I'm truly, truly enjoying this stick. Wow. And the Yellowstone bourbon, it's going well with it. But I'm going to tell you what, this is a cigar that you don't need anything to enjoy, it, to enhance it at all. So... I'm going to get out of here, man. I will say the CAO cigars, in my opinion, CAO cigars age pretty well. As you can see, there's a little bit of age on that plastic there from this cigar. So, Cowboy's going to get out of here, man. Enjoy the rest of my evening. I expect y'all to do the same. 
That's my take on it. Peace.